Hi, Sean O'Kane here with Chip Estimate TV. Uh, we're here at Arm uh, TechCon 2016. My guest back with us is Nanan Nayampali. Uh, he's the Vice President of Marketing and Strategy at Arm CPU Group. So thanks for rejoining us uh, during this busy day at Arm, Arm TechCon. Um, previously, yeah. Previously, we talked a little bit about the uh, the new um, uh, M33 and 23 processors that mm -hmm. were announced at, at Arm TechCon here. Yep. Now what we're going to do is dive a little bit into the Cortex R52. And that was just recently announced. And can you describe the applications that this new processor will address? Absolutely. And Cortex R52 is something we announced about a month ago. Mm -hmm. uh, and the focus of Cortex R52 is real-time applications. And these would be automotive, industrial, transportation, even storage. Mm -hmm. And uh, these applications are ones that R52 is designed for specifically are the ones that are more functional safety critical. So when you think about automotive, it's not just the IVI that you see, right. it is the control, it's the powertrain, which are much more functional safety critical. So the Cortex R52 is designed as our most advanced functional safety capable processor. So we were just, I was just going to go into that. It is called the most advanced, and why is it called the most advanced? Uh, fair question. So the Cortex R line has been over the years developing uh, mm -hmm. its chops, if you will, yeah. on functional safety. And a lot of that starts from the way we design it and have to actually manage requirements from uh, specification to delivery, which is required for all these certification standards of uh, ISO 26262 and IEC 61508, which are functional safety standards that people believe. Mm -hmm. But along with that, uh, we have put in new capabilities. Cortex R52 is our first ARM V8R architecture uh, processor that supports hard real-time virtualization, which is critical for mm -hmm. safety. But along with the traditional error recovery mechanisms, we also do bus protection. Uh, we do hardware isolation for software. Uh, and a lot of these new capabilities that are needed mm -hmm. to make functional safety achievable especially in the automotive industry, autonomous vehicles, and uh, what Simon talked about in his, mm -hmm. uh, uh, his keynote, along with Masayoshi-san. Indeed. Yeah, so that was, that was key. Um, so how does the Cortex-R52 simplify the development of real-time safety software? That's a fair question. So firstly, we have to understand this, the first hard real-time virtualized processor. And if you look at safety processing, there are random faults that happen, and those you can address with error checking and recovery. Mm -hmm. But the systematic faults, for example, a software piece going bad or, or stalling, shouldn't be preventing the processor from continuing what it's supposed to do on functional safety tasks. Oh, okay. So the, the real-time virtualization partitions it off so that even with a bad process, the functional safety task is protected from it. So this enables software developers to, to actually help uh, separate what is needed mm -hmm. from what is arguably uh, redundant. Well, you, you, you're also helping the silicon manufacturers develop SOC that meet safety standards. Indeed. And how, how, how was that being addressed? So the Cortex-R52 is now the second generation of actually providing redundant uh, lockstep capability, which is required for functional safety. Mm -hmm. We already talked about the other safety features. Right. But going back to what we initially talked about, all the manufacturers also have to certify their solutions to a certain level. Okay. And the ACLD level is the highest level for functional safety. Uh, what ARM provides is the documentation of how the processor is developed, how it behaves in various failure modes, mm -hmm. and this is required for them to actually do uh, their safety certification. So we simplify both the testing, the, the verification, mm -hmm. and the documentation and the certification for our customers. So they have all the requirements in, in just in, Indeed. in in one piece, Indeed. and uh, they can, which speeds up their, their whole process too. Right, and, and it's an extremely expensive process, so it helps mitigate some of the costs. Exactly. Well, thank you again for spending some time with us. Uh, for Nanda Nayampali, my name is Sean O'Kane. We'll see you next time on Chip Estimate TV. Thank you. Thank you.